Can we take me seriously with this flimsy thing? Oh, Scott, is that coming from your house? No. <laughs> oh my God. So are we commenting? I don't even know. Are we just We're not live yet. No, we have to wait until there's a text in the chat that says we're live, but it's not there yet. So we're not live yet. What do we do? What do I say? It's just going to be a little bit of a delay. I never felt so out of control. No, it's meeting is now streaming live. Okay, wait. No, that's not right. We have to wait until it says it in the chat. The worst version of uh, reality that I've come across in days. I mean, there's coronavirus, so. And we're all together, kind of. Oh, we yeah, are no. live. You guys, we're live. Oh, oh. Is this uh, what it's like, everybody? Hey, cheers, America. So nice to have you. Um, uh, Rachel, what do you I'm watching the show, today? guys. Oh, sorry. Jesus, Scott. I'm kidding. Talk all you want. Hi, everybody. We're so excited that, that you're all here with us watching the season premiere of American Dad. <laughs> I'm Rachel, by the way. That's, I'm Haley. That's me. I'm Scott. <laughs> I'm Wendy Francine. <laughs> I want to hear this. Dee, who are you? God, Scott. I'm Dee Baker. Hi. That's great. Pay me, right. bitches. Here's what oh, I'm yeah, wondering, guys. Are we supposed to talk to each other or watch the show? We're supposed to do oh, no. both. Okay. What we, uh, Rachel, what is, Rachel are... please, just take control, for God's sake. I'm Matt Rachel. Weitzman. I'm uh, one of the co-creators and, uh, yep. you know, yes. semi big cheese. Hi, I'm Scott Grimes. I'm one of the co-creators as well. And <laughs> I play... Liar! <laughs> I play Steve on the show. It's a story. Look at this. You guys, look at what's happening right now. We're all looking at our phones. We're all looking at our screens. It's, yep. it's, it's, it's really yeah. a, a mirror. Oh, that was happening. So you guys are in um, uh, little, uh, so just so you guys know, I can't watch this live because. Oh, no. I don't understand. Uh, the technology. intro's on right now, Matt. I'll sing yeah, it for you. Ready? Intro. Yeah. And he's exactly. smiling to salute to the American race. Ready? Here comes. Oh, oh boy, it's swell to sing. Good morning, USA. Ah! Good morning, USA. Do you know what I've just learned? Are we in Texas, a now? Texas is a little bit ahead of Los Angeles, Scotty. That's what I've just learned. Oh, really? Yeah, because you were ahead. Yep. Yeah, we are. We are. I mean, well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. Is this is how it's gonna go? So we're just gonna be looking at the the five of us, which is Matt, fantastic. Here's what I'm it's saying. on. Whatever you want. People are watching us, right? Right. Well, Hope so. What? what? I don't know. Right here. Yes, right here. we're supposed to watch the show while talking about it. Oh, so you guys? Can, I will say this, yeah, please. So Matt. So here's what I'll say, okay? <laughs> Having watched this already, what's about to come up that I love, okay? One of my favorite moments. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Is the in a minute? Hold on, watch it. In a minute, the guys get mad that Stan is doing this without their knowledge. Right. And in a minute, a bunch of jet skis <laughs> come out of the top. Right. Of the oh yeah, we're doing the bit. It's almost kind of like Miami Vicey. Look at the jet skis just came out of the top. Where did they come from? How yeah. did they do right. that? They were there the whole time, the magic of cinema. But there's no, the propulsion of a jet ski exists right. through the water. Just what happens, Brilliant. just That's watch hilarious. what happens to the fish. It's a cartoon, Scott. Oh, I know, Wendy, cartoon. I know, yes, Wendy, yes. you're right, but that's why I love it, that's why it makes me laugh. Yeah. You watch know what, what the fish- what happens to the fish. Do you see anything the happens hardest. to the fish? Are you watching this? This is my favorite. This is one the greatest one. If I start favorite. dancing, it's gonna be hilarious. got the cocaine. Baby! My heart is full of love and it's all for you. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. That was very nice. good, uh, very good design too of, of, of the of the eighties, all of it. The the house, the clothes. Right. Matt. Capturing it. Matt, yeah, the I'll colors are amazing. All the um the colors. Matt, yeah. the responsibility that you have taken upon yourself as the creator to, <laughs> you know, uh, the a drug free America right. is, is is amazing. Thank you so much for teaching the children right. of the world. Yeah. Uh, All right, now how, listen. How to? Are you saying how to? How to, yes, how to. 
<laughs> We're yeah. on a commercial break right now. So I just want to take a minute and point something yeah. out. Now, unfortunately, I've sort of ruined it because I went all blonde. But as you can see, that's going to go did, bad pretty soon. You kind of surprised me on that one. Look, yeah. we all look like our characters. Has anybody really noticed that before? Like, look at Scotty and then look at Steve. What? And well, look yeah. at Wendy and look at Francine. Yeah. Not and, so, mu and not look so at, far. Look at Dee right. and look at Klaus. And then me <laughs> and Haley. Well, you can't help for yourself. Look at the um, are you just realizing just, this now? Because no, I think I've, I've that, realized it forever. It, it is amazing to me because these characters were designed before we were all cast, and yet yeah. they all look like us. Very similar. Yes. Right. Yes. I was told that so Seth mad. was thinking of me as his character. That's kind of true. That's true. Is that true, or that was true. I lied to? No, no, no. He's been had a he's had a crush on you since the birds. Yeah, when that's I can back that up. That's the truth. But it's just it's just a coincidence that Steve had red hair, right? Yeah, you know, the, the, the red hair has kind of always been like a question. I mean, is he ginger? Is he not ginger? Do you, is ginger a bad name, by the way? Oh, yeah, is that offensive? It, it, depends, it depends on how you say it. Ah, so okay. I was not saying it offensively. No, not at all. So I, right. I, I, did, not, I did not take, yeah, I did not take right. offense to that at all. My but wife, if I was to say... Time, but I will say this. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I see that, that, that Steve is bullied all the time, and I do understand that redheads, in my past anyway, have been uh -huh. bullied and been nerdy. So I wonder if that's why you made him a redhead, because that's like the quintessential nerd in school, maybe? I don't know. But he's not like full red. I, I never really considered him red until other people pointed him out. Okay. I thought I was new. Redheads, redheads are the coolest because. But gingers are the coolest. Thank you. Ah, uh, guest appearance. Right. Yeah. That was, that was I sweet. wish I had people. Uh, Scott, uh, <laughs> you've got me in the background. Oh, talking I'm about gonna... like on the nose choices for for characters, Inner Space just uh, was oh, yeah. on the other night. Oh, yeah. I hadn't seen it for years, I and I watched movie. it, and I was chewing gum to be like, yep. you know, cool. the. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. You know, my father-in-law wrote that. I, yep. Huh? Really? My father-in-law wrote that. Yeah. I yeah. love that Wow. Book. Wow. Yeah. That's Robert just... Picardo at the end is really knockout. Yeah. He's terrific. Right? He's terrific. Yeah, he's You're absolutely right. It's a, it's a tour de force. It's like, whoa, what the heck? Yeah. Look at this guy. Look what he's doing. Awesome. Is that, a, is that like a kid-appropriate movie, Inner Space? I haven't seen you know, it. There, yeah. there, it's it's yeah. not it's... super young. There are certain moments that apparently they're, they're more scary than uh, you would think. I mean, it's PG back then. Yeah, Which well, that was, <laughs> that was different. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Jaws was PG. Yeah. yeah. Shut Jaws the fuck was up. PG. Jaws was PG? Are yeah. You, are you it was before PG-13. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was. So. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, it gave I my mean, grandpa a heart attack. Is the show like, back geez. on? Should we be commenting? The show is back on. Stan yeah, is and you, oh. missed a, you missed a really great moment where Stan oh, throws his sunglasses in the air and they land on his face. Oh, yeah. No, we worked a long time on making that timing work just right. But let's Hold look on. at the Do you guys too. know that people are writing in and we can respond no. to them? So, Angela, no. thank you very much for your comment. Wait, where, where, where are we're are all getting this? used to this. Um, we just we didn't realize it was as interactive, I guess. Wendy, as, as where are you seeing people's questions and comments? Um, where are you seeing this, Michael? I'm getting help here. So it's on Good Facebook, oh. on, on the American oh, Dad. Facebook. 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 Right. I, what is this live in on customers? Oh, you're on the Facebook. Yes, I was in Small Soldiers. Thank so you. So, when you're going to have to be our sort of, you're going to have to be the person that tells us some of these questions people are asking. Yeah. You don't to be it. Oh, well, they're clicking by kind of. No, fast just try one. Just one. Lunch. <laughs> one. <laughs> I, I would love to know what, um, you know, what <laughs> Flower Child 63 thinks. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, I'm going to stop and That's say. That's my mother. <laughs> Who's saying, where's Roger at? He's okay, right so here. you guys, this is one of my favorite bits in this whole episode. The fact yeah. that fucking Stan doesn't realize that it was Roger. Right? It's a great, yeah. it's so great. You're right, Rach. And right. the fact that like Haley, at one point I'm like, wait a minute, gray fingers, you keep bringing that up. He had gray fingers. Yeah, no, that was, a, that was one of those things where like, the whole time we have to be, the audience has to know that this is Roger and Roger and, and Stan's the only one who doesn't know and you, the family, is recognizing it the whole time, going, getting closer and closer, and kind of right. going, seriously, oh God, you so don't know? It's so good. But, yeah. Um, I'm trying to find the, uh, 
the writer of the episode. Wendy, do you have a question for us or a comment? Um, I don't know. Something just flew up in the screen and now I can't see. I will it. say this, Matt. <laughs> in that last scene, Stan seemed a lot shorter than he usually is with Roger dancing with him salsa -y. Is that right? I don't know. It just like, seemed is, a little weird, man. Like is that right? When, when he's salsa, oh, when he's salsa in the in the office. Roger right. just seems you know what, short. Oh, usually. Veronica says you have a wonderful singing voice, Scott. Oh, Me? Scott. Oh, thanks, it's Veronica. Philip Wade says, oh, "Who even yeah. are you, people?" Well, you Way tell Veronica out. from me. Way to go out on a limb, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Matt, have another drink. <laughs> Philip wants it's to me. know who even are you, people? Like, <laughs> who are, even are, we, you are people? we people? That's yeah, great. Right? That's my favorite thing in the world. We're the cast. On. On this. And they just want to rag on you. But why are you on watching us anyway? Okay, I just want to. I'm going to say this because the right. I mean, I asked the writer of the episode where this all came from. And um, they want to explore a period of Roger's history before being with the Smiths. And was attracted to the idea of them crossing paths without realizing it. Right. And it this. began the Roger backstory, but in coming up with it, uh, we all thought that it would be fun if an element where Stan's experience with Roger would haunt him and affect his own story in the American Dad universe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so I from there, it. we thought it would be if Stan... Uh, that's a cool, was, sorry, this, Matt. Matt, I'm sorry. That, <laughs> Matt, it's very funny that Roger is, the, is what's his name? That's really funny. El Narco? Yes, El Narco, right? Cool. El Narco, yes. El Narco. Yeah, I don't know where we came up with that idea. <laughs> well, and I don't want our <laughs> listeners to think that we're condoning the use of libraries. I mean, drugs. Um, <laughs> libraries. <laughs> Well, this whole thing started off as a story about uh, the library the card. Library about card. Steve not having a proper library card. Right. Yeah. I have to say, too, the character design for Roger in this episode, to me, it's so reminiscent of the, the drug lord from um, oh, Clear and Present Danger. Oh, I think it's supposed to be El Chapo. Uh, oh, maybe. You know what, what I'm talking about? I think about? it's also El Chapo, kind of. Is it? He looks so much like the Clear and Present Danger drug lord to me. I love that he humps the albino rhino. Yeah, that's a funny Al yeah. Albino that rhino. Are in the episode, Scott? Well, yeah. now we're watching a um, yes. commercial for yes. WWE or whatever. Oh. I wish I could hear everybody's voice out so there. Matt, who's so Matt, right now we're in a commercial. Wish they could communicate with us. I wish we could I communicate with them. Okay, uh, Wendy, any other questions? Any other comments, questions? We're in a commercial. Do we have any um, Haley questions? That would be fantastic. <laughs> There are never any well, Haley questions. Let's see. Come on now. Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? What? What's Scott Grimes? Oh, Ray says, always loved you, Wendy. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's just going to pick the Francine ones. <laughs> yeah. I've got all the power. I have got the feed here <laughs> that none of you apparently have. So, oh. um, uh, I know oh, you have, probably should have gotten could Facebook. You, could you speak for two seconds? And he's getting swallowed <laughs> by Klaus. Swelmed by everybody talking. I know. I, I, I'm stopping. And I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm done. We're really loud. I know. Rachel, you just look gorgeous. Uh, Who said Richard that? Says, thank My you for years of entertainment. Oh, thank you, Adrian. Uh, <laughs> look at you. What thank strain you. does Haley smoke? <clears throat> what strain does Haley? What strain does Haley smoke? We did an episode about that, didn't we? Oh, Gorilla Glue? Is glue? that what it is? Uh, <laughs> is that a wow. That was a gor something, gor so a gorilla, something with a gorilla. Right, she doesn't, I mean, she's taking a oh, break. Wait, wait a minute. We have a challenge here. Somebody doesn't believe that we uh, have anything to do with the show, that we're not the characters from the ah! show. So, yeah. okay. So, How do they know? So, okay, you got to do the voices now. Start with D, go to Rachel, then Wendy, then me. Pay me, bitches. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't really have to stretch very far, so fucking <laughs> it. <laughs> Things are too spicy for the pepper. That's fantastic. You made so many people happy right there. Great. Thanks, Matt. I hadn't gone yet, but all right. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? I'm watching us. I'm watching us. Oh, my God. Hey there, bitches. 
I just stole these. Weird. Weird. No, 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 Scott, do. It's awesome. That cracks me up every time. Hey, guys, thanks for being here and listening to us. You're awesome! <laughs> every time. This is us. <laughs> oh, wow. Somebody wants D to yell in German. Oh. Lass es sein, sein Paradise für den, der gut zu tanzen weiß. That's Nietzsche. Wow. <laughs> really? Is it really? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, it is. I love Nietzsche. He's hilarious. Nietzsche. He's hilarious. He is hilarious. He's like the first stand up before oh, things Ryan, start. Ryan has listened to Daddy's Gone like a million times. I Wait, know. I just got so from great. America oh, Dad to Everyone is Stan Haley's real father. Wow, Matt. Somebody's asking that. Is Stan Haley's real father? Come on. Look at the two of them. They're just opposite ends of the poles, of course. They're their parent, they're their mother, their father's daughter, sister, son, brother, brother. Son, um, brother. Yes, Stop yes. I would, I would argue yes. Even though there's always going to be a question because there was that guy. But no, I would say um, there's a 98% chance that Stan is Haley's daughter. All right. Our father. Wow, that's no. a two percent chance of people. Oh, what wine are you people. drinking, Rachel? I am drinking um, a Chardonnay from the uh, Hudson Winery up in no, uh, Sonoma. Wait you're not, minute, you're not drinking Jeff Fisher's? Does oh, everybody shit. know this? That Jeff Fisher, should be uh, the actor, this. is named Jeff Fisher. It's his character name and his actor name, and he is and, and his a, real name and his given name. Yeah. Is it, this is his yeah. real name. Yeah. This is his real name. Yeah. But he is a winemaker. And, and he makes really he great wine. It's really good. Yeah. Habit. So Habit good. wine. Habit wines. Yep. Yeah. And he yeah, delivers yeah. if you live in the LA area. We're only we all saying this so we get free wine. Let's be honest, guys. Come on. <laughs> I wish. WWW Habit Wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the official wine of American Dad. Yeah. All right. Here's another question. From Sarah Longino, Longino, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. No, now I see when it. is Steve gonna come out with an album? When's he gonna come the question out? question is when is Steve gonna come out? First when of all, remember this. Out? Everybody listen to me. I know we're watching the show and it's a really great episode, so keep it watching. It was a great episode. Uh, Haley, Rachel McFarlane has a record that you should all buy immediately. Thank you, Scotty. It's beautiful. It's called okay. Haley Sings and it's Rachel <laughs> McFarlane singing as Haley. Um, I don't know, man. So, you know, I, the, the, I would love to do an R&B record with all the beautiful songs that Asa Taconi wrote for the show, and we've all gotten this beautiful privilege to sing. That would be awesome. Uh, if it happens someday, it happens. I would love everybody in the cast to be a part of it, and maybe that'll happen someday. Let's do a Christmas know. album. <clears throat> maybe a Christmas a, album. That's a really great idea. A holiday too. album. A holiday album oh is a really God. great idea. I would be down for that yeah. in the biggest yeah. possible Why way. Rachel's album, Haley Sings, it's really Oh, excellent. Scott, you're being asked to sing right now. Um, Allie wants, you to he wants to hear you sing. No, don't sing Daddy's Gone, it's all I'm asking. Don't sing it. I won't. Do don't. it. Can you sing uh, uh, yeah, Country Daddy's Roads, which you sang in the first season? Country Roads? Country Roads. You sang Country Roads in the yeah. first season. Country Road, like John Denver? Like Country yeah, Road? John Denver, yeah. Yeah. No, the first was, song yeah. I actually sang, Matt, Tell me. for American Dad, was I was up on a ladder. And it's oh, a song oh I about the, the masturbation episode. Masturbation episode. And I'm up on a ladder doing the chores for my dad because I wanted to make him happy. And I think it was something like... Making dad happy, making, making dad, dad happy. Making dad chores. happy, doing his chores, yeah. doing his chores. Yeah. Yes. And by the way, I'm aware of that. Yes. About it, but it's the first time I realized that if you come up with a melody while you're recording American Dad, you get money for 15 years after that. <laughs> yes, you do. You're right. Yes. Oh, right. No. Uh, I want to give you a plug it here. Finishes. It's an amazing thing. Right? The Musicians Union has it figured out because <laughs> thank you. They don't. They don't like lower the price. No. As time. That's even, amazing. Like, uh, uh, Wendy, Wendy, you were saying. Uh, uh, well, somebody um, wrote that they want to know how to become a voice actor on American Dad. I mean, I don't know if it could be on American Dad, D, but D, D you're Bradley the Baker. So what Send two thousand dollars to D Bradley Baker at losangeles.com. 
no, come on. Tell them, tell them what your website is. Oh, if you're interested in voice acting, I, I made a website called I want to be a voice actor.com that has all kinds of free information about becoming a voice actor. Go there. Start it's there. It's spectacular. It's free in I, the beginning. I use it's it. Free. It's kind of like Scientology. Then you have to take me to lunch, and then, well, you know. I'll say this. I'll say this while we're watching this, because clearly I've seen this, and people are going to watch it afterwards, whatever. I'll tell you this right now. There is a difference, and I'm only talking about myself, and if you guys don't mind me talking for about 30 seconds. Go. I, I know how to do one thing. I know how to play Steve Smith, because Seth trusted me, and Matt trusted me, and Mike Barker trusted me with this and I came up with one voice and they liked it. Uh, what Dee Bradley does oh. and what Rachel does, uh, I'm, I, I, Wendy, I don't know if you do this and you probably do, I cannot do, which is all the, this giant thing that these people do that creates a voiceover actor. And you're also actors in, in, in other ways as well. You could do on camera, off camera, whatever, but it's such a talent that I do not possess. <laughs> so to be a voiceover actor is you can't ask me that question because I do one voice or maybe I play a dumb guy or, a, or an old guy once in a while but what you guys do is something spectacular where you can just transform your voice into into people that I could never do so that's but just it, oh, but, it, but it certainly hasn't stopped you from answering the question Scott <laughs> We have another. We have another question too here. Um, Brian Fleming wants to know who came up with the character Rogu. Uh, that um, I'm going to give credit to where credit's due. That is a. Uh, I, I mean, the writers' room generally comes up with things, but the writer of the particular episode is uh, Jeff Kaufman, mm -hmm. and um, so he's written a number of uh, you know really iconic episodes recently, uh, and. Um, you know, he's, yeah, and Rogu is only becoming a bigger and bigger part of uh, the universe that we've created. Um, in my mind, he's basically become uh, Cousin Oliver uh, to our show. Hopefully it's not a telltale sign of, you know, you know the fact that Cousin Oliver showed up in the Brady Bunch and then the Brady Bunch was done. But um, D, why don't you give a I little, uh, why don't you give a little uh, Rogu uh, love to the world? Rogu love. <laughs> All right, yes, that's what you're gonna get. So, that's dude, Rogu love yeah, right there. No, actually, there's we have an upcoming episode. Um, it won't be this season, I guess, for everybody because we're a little bit behind production seasons versus what you guys are gonna be showing. But not this coming season, but next season, which we are making right now, uh, we have an an episode of Klaus versus rogu for okay. you know they're vying for a place in the family and um it's a it's a tour de force of d bradley baker where he plays both of the main characters throughout the episode so wow. it's uh, pretty fantastic and um uh, a really fun episode that takes place in a dude ranch and uh it's uh you guys, you guys are gonna like it the battle royale yeah. Um, spectacular. Guys, real quick, if you don't mind, I, I, I know I've spoken a lot, but. Jesus, stop. Dad, dad you want watched, another 30 seconds? <laughs> my dad's watching right now and he just texted me. So I want to say hi to my dad and all the people out there that are at home. Stay safe. I know you're bored. Hope we're giving you a little bit of happiness at this moment in your life. That's all. Yes. Aww. And stay, so stay on and, and we'll tell you all about what we did today in quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Super fun. What did you guys do in quarantine? What, what, how was your quarantine today, guys? This has been my only companion in quarantine. I call him Wilson. <laughs> he has a different name, Wendy. Oh. You, know, yeah. you guys, I think, I think that I am going to win what happened today in quarantine. Tell us. Tell us. Oh. Um, so I had to, you know, step away from my four-year-old, uh, my 10-year-old for a moment. Um, and to do a little American dad business. And, uh, and then my husband was working, so they were left to their own devices. And when I came back after approximately 15 minutes, uh, my four-year-old had um, put slime in her hair. 
Ah. Take that in for just a second. For her. Fine four-year-old hair uh -huh. full of slime. The that jury's still out whether or not the sh head is going to have to be shaved. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, is it really? Can it have to be shaved? Really? Dude, well, how do you get slime? Slime. Oh. It's like in there. So Gasoline. I think, the, uh, right? I mean, what the, anybody out there know what takes slime out of hair? <laughs> um... Yeah. So that was my day. That was my day. Uh, that's yeah. a good day. Yeah. Yeah. What a, what uh, I've been blackmailed by guys who want to give a thousand dollars for me to give them, or they'll show me show my masturbation pictures online. Oh, that's right. You're getting blackmailed by by the porn police. Yeah. I'll do but, it for less money. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, look. A lot if less. Anybody knows how to shave a head. It's Matt Weitzman, so he can come to your no. rescue. You know, I used You're to right. have a pro. No, you didn't. It was out to here. No, you did not. I did. Did you really? I did. Oh, I've seen oh, the picture. I, I've seen it. You've shown you it. You had a pro, and you danced with Prince. I did dance with Prince, too. That was one of the fantastic. Wow. Oh, I, miss, I miss Prince. Uh, Scotty, what oh. did you do in quarantine today? What's You know, my whole thing in quarantine is routine, because... Uh, the, it's the first time in my life, first of all, that I've slept past 6 a.m. Oh my God. I sleep till about 30 a.m. now. My wife today? and I. Every day. Oh. Every day. Because I'm in, I'm in Texas, so uh, it's a, it's, we're two hours from LA, two hours ahead. And then we work out and we figure out what we're going to make for dinner. It's that this beautiful routine. And we're making a video right now, just we're directing some stupid thing that we're, you know, we're, we're coming up with ideas, right? We're coming up with things to, to get our day going. Um, my, my kids are, my kids, Rachel, are older and they're taking care of themselves. And you know, Are they in LA? They're in LA, yeah. Yeah, they're in LA. And it's, uh, we're just, we're, we're chatting with people. We're doing what we're doing right now. We're just mm -hmm. connecting with people. Um, and we're also doing something like, if we're in a position like this, we're asking Dee Bradley Baker to please, Please, as I turn the volume down. Oh, what's the? Uh, are we done with the episode, by the way? No, not we're yet. not. Turn not the yet. volume down so we can all hear this. And D, I know you and I love you, and you know what I'm going to ask you to do. I don't. I don't know what you want. Oh, to do. I know what you're going to ask him to do. I know what you're going to ask him to do. Can you please, for twenty seconds, do the man inside your mouth? Oh, I, oh, you I love this it. so much. Inside no. the mouth. Oh, Oh my God. That is unbelievable. That so it to, it to this day amazing. is the most talented thing I've ever seen any human being do live. Ever. It's amazing. No, it's not. Yeah. That's right. a stunt. It's incredible. A, it's a cheap stunt. I don't know how you do it though. There's ventriloquists out there. It's expensive stunt. Do that. <laughs> no, if I had my pole with me, believe oh, me, that, that, that would have been fantastic. <laughs> Hey guys, next week, Wendy, we're getting her a poll. We're getting, we're sending Tune her a poll. Tune Very in, good. everybody. <laughs> Let's each get Send a poll. Send Wendy a poll. I'm gonna, a, I'm gonna put a poll in the record this. You got it, bro. I get okay. a poll and you get a poll, honey. I, I get a poll and you get a poll, babe. Wow. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Um, I thought you were gonna have Dee do crickets. Oh, crickets. That, I can do crickets. You can? Oh, for the love of no, God. No, fuck off. <laughs> and it's not that great. But I used to do it, be able to do it. D, do it. Show them up. D, do it. D, show me how to do it. Oh, mine were better. Can't hear it. Do it again. We didn't hear you. It was so quiet. I couldn't hear it. No. No. Okay. No. Well, no. It's cricket. I win. It's over here. I think I win. I win. I win. <laughs> Zoom compressed me out. It did. It absolutely did. Yep. There's no air in it. That's All right, look, problem. the episode is right. ending. Before we start to jump into questions, um, I'm going to the bathroom. So I'll be right back. Oh! Well, Take us with you, Rachel. Take us with you! Oh, yeah, really, right? Well, the guy I, guess the I guess I need to get this... This. Uh, Nobody uh, asked me this, what uh, I've been this. doing during quarantine. Oh, corn. yeah. Wendy, what you been doing? Hey, Wendy, what you been doing? Your buddy? Wendy, what have you been doing? Well... <laughs> Oh, you're back. Adrian <laughs> says hi. Like, you know, 
Hi, honey. I live in this rural area. So we've been doing things like setting gopher traps and taking a walk up running streams in our rubber boots. And I'm so sorry I asked. We relocated a bunny rabbit um, off my property. What? And yeah, Maybe that's it. into a pot. Green Acres is a place. Into a pot. <laughs> With some turnips, <laughs> some That's right. legumes. Delicious, we deliciously relocated a bunny <laughs> to a pot of boiling <laughs> water. I'm so happy oh, to. D, she <laughs> loves you, man. You said so many amazing things. You know, yep. oh. I had a couple of glasses of wine, but you. D knows when to say the right thing at the <laughs> the wrong thing at the right time. Yes, <laughs> Wendy, Wendy, can you? Yes. Can you? Can you can can your buddy say hi? Can your buddy say hi? <laughs> your buddy? <laughs> hey, buddy? Oh, little buddy. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, look at that. Oh, buddy. not bunny. Did you want the bunny? That's not him. Oh, I said buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, okay. You can come back. <laughs> He's been doing all the technical stuff on this because I'm hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. Guys, oh sorry. So Matt, Matt, Matt's doing his deal with Comedy Central right now. <laughs> what is what is happening at Dee's house? Jeez. It's my buddy. Yes. It's back. Buddy D. Okay, guys, just here's the deal. Rachel? Yes. yes. Oh. I'm scared. Rachel, was it okay? Did it go good? Everything was good with the bathroom? Everything was fine. I washed my hands for 20 seconds. <laughs> um, and that was super fun. I'm doing that a lot these days. Look at this motherfucker. I love him so much. <laughs> I know. Oh, God, I've lost That's... all. There's supposed to be questions. I don't know where they are. No, wait. Are. Okay. I've got some questions on the side oh, here. Oh, yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> somebody says, what's your favorite moment of the show? Oh, when we get picked up. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, when we re negotiate a new salary. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite moment of, I don't know if they mean this show. Should we go with this show? I, you mean in general, like the moment, I think they're, they're saying their moment, their, your favorite uh, moment of, your, your favorite uh, episode, maybe? Favorite episode, maybe? Yeah. You know, I mean, look, here, I, I'll start if you want. My favorite moment of this show was when Roger became El Narco. That, that was something I didn't see happening, even though I've been involved in the show for 15 fucking years, and I should have seen that coming. <laughs> um, but my favorite, again, if the, if the question's something else, my favorite time of the show is our read-throughs uh, 10 minutes or 15 or 20 minutes prior to when we start the read-through, when the four of us, Dee, Wendy, Rachel, and me, we meet in this room and no one else is in it and we just chat for fucking, right? Yeah. Am I wrong, guys? No, we're well, like the little <laughs> teacher's pets. We're there on time yeah. for the table read. Nobody else is in there. And yeah. so we have our little chat time. That's right. Yeah, but our chat time also consists a lot of, okay, page 22. What the yeah. fuck does this even mean? Exactly. We do that. It's really great. <laughs> and right. talks How do you about pronounce the word sandwich? Yes. <laughs> Right. He comes in and talks about the same school. Don't your kids go to the same school, Rach and D, right? They, I mean, they, they did. They did, yeah. once upon a time. I, love, I, just love, I love hearing about family. And we've been doing this so long, guys. Long time. Like, we, we see each other once a week, maybe. And it's just such a lovely time because I, I just love you guys so much. And you're so, I, I watch your talent across the table. Every uh, excuse, me. excuse me. I have a request. Yes. Happy birthday, Leela. Oh, happy that's... birthday, Leela. Oh, Leela. Happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday Leela. Happy Lila. birthday. For the birth talk, Leela. Uh, <laughs> they, they only asked me to do it. But, uh, oh, nice wow. Time. Okay. No, it's, no, it's um, all right. Here's somebody want, no, at, what is this? At Edward is the man. At Edward is the man wants to know, will there be a boys 12 reunion on the show? Matt oh, oh, God. There, oh, the chances are so good. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait for you to see it. Um, no, probably not. No. Um, you know, we have um, another season half. I don't, at this point. Oh, oh, we do revisit this. The Boys 12. I will say that. We will revisit Boys 12. And um, it may not turn out the way that you expected. Okay. D, are you okay? 
Oh, God, am I? <laughs> I have to say. Oh, um, yeah, to answer the short answer of your question is, we that uh, they are they are in a way coming back. So, um, so you know a little bit about me for a moment. I do have a B twelve deficiency, so I have to take B twelve every day, um, and every not? single day oh, when do I you, take, do you get a little prick. I don't, but every time I take the fucking sublingual B twelve, I think, girl, you need a shot. B12 every fucking day. <laughs> ah, good for you. Yeah. Good. Yep. Thanks for that. Yeah. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. And somebody else is asking, sorry, Funky D, Funky D is asking, uh, what's happened to the golden turd? The golden jeweled turd. Oh, God. You're going to have to watch until the end of the season. And you will get your answer, and you're going to be so. Oh, happy. here it comes. And I'm going to tell you nothing. <laughs> oh, come Lance on! Lance wants me to validate oh, you, the you, quality. You, you'll have a, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna have to. There'll be a little something. That's a great episode. Well, it, we've had four installments of it, and um, they. I mean, it's the fact that. We kind of became this weird show that went away and became a Twilight Zony drama for four minutes, and right. it became this love thing. And um, yeah, but we are—it's um, not going away. That's all I can tell you. It's not going away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wendy, do you have any questions on your end? I have a question. Um, uh, Lance wanted me to validate the quality of the show, <clears throat> season 15, um, about whether he should watch it or not. And I would, I'd say, go ahead. I, I, wouldn't you? Lance, go ahead? what the fuck else do you have going on right now, dude? No, give it a watch. Seriously, what are yeah. you doing? Give it a watch. You can, you know, Lance, like anything you else that you don't like on television, you can turn it off, you know? It's a half hour. <laughs> but also like, like, hold on. If you're if you're just discovering American Dad, I get it. I'll validate the fuck out of it for you right now. If you're asking why I should watch season 15, because now I've watched season one through 14, go fuck yourself is what I'm gonna <laughs> say. Like, just watch the fucking show and trust that you trusted it for the last fucking 14 years. Sorry, that's the fucking wet red wine talking. The wet wine. Right. The wet wet wine. wine. Wet wine. Uh, I do have a question. Feel so fine. Uh, the, the, fact, the, the fact, Sorry. buddy, that you have a asked this question on this site means that you're pot committed, man. You're right. not going anywhere. I'm not you, ragging you, on you, man. Who, who are you kidding? I'm telling you this right now, and this is no joke. And I said this. I sent this text to you, Matt. Did I not? And you yeah, with, 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 with those visuals, yes. <laughs> Stop it. You were, you were kind enough to tell me to text it to Brian Boyle, who is also a showrunner of American Dad. I said, this is one of the best episodes I've ever seen of American Dad. And you were so sweet, Matt, to go, look, man, I give notes on this one. Uh, please text that to Brian Boyle, who had a lot to do with this one. I I'm not joking. Like, I watched this show uh, uh, yesterday. And I really, truly thought it was one of the best American Dad episodes I'd ever seen. I'm telling you that. Well, I, the fact that you've seen six episodes speaks volumes. Yeah, and I, I mean that. So if you're still questioning, my point oh, is yeah. that, that thing, if you're still questioning whether you should watch this season, I mean, come right. on. I mean, the, the good news is we, I mean, we're gonna be, we have, I think, 23 episodes this season. And um, the fact that everybody's locked up in their houses means that, uh, seriously, I mean, the answer is what you guys were saying before. What else you got to do? But They're guys, very bingeable. I mean, it's, and I also, I feel like we should tell everybody too, which is just kind of cool, that, that, that we are still making shows right yeah. now from quarantine, which is yeah. kind of uh, fucking that, amazing. You're, you know what? You're absolutely right, Rachel. That's what, what we should be telling is that, you know, while most of Hollywood has gone on hold, American Dad continues, and we are breaking new episodes, and I am mixing and doing editing, and it's a weird process, and 
Um, it, in some ways it's harder, but it's still, I mean, it's working. We're, we're doing it and uh, uh, hopefully you guys are gonna like it. Um, it's, you know, I'm always nervous cause I have always my own insecurities about, you know, I hope that it's everybody, I mean, after 15 years, you're like, I hope that people are still enjoying it. But, I think people are uh, still enjoying it. I think they are. I posted the link to this today or basically an announcement saying we were doing it. And people are so freaking excited. I think that, yeah. that everybody's still enjoying what we're doing. We are certainly still enjoying what we're doing. Yeah. Hey, Rachel, um, somebody uh, wrote in, I'm sorry, it's kind of gone by and the, the name, uh, but they wanted to know if you and Seth tried out voices like growing up, like were you doing voices between you? We you know? were, I mean, Seth more than I, it's funny. I didn't realize this was sort of what I was going to do until I was in college. And I watched a video back of, of a review I did as a sophomore at the Boston Conservatory. And I was like, oh shit, I'm a voice actor. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Not this musical theater stuff. But Seth, um, one of my favorite moments of our childhood was when I was in eighth grade and I was hosting a dance for all my friends in our backyard. Um, eighth grade, right? So we wanted to listen to Samantha Fox, Naughty Girls Need Love Too, and Rick Astley and all the music of the time. My brother jumps out and he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have to have a little interlude. And he pops in a tape that he made and it's him doing Ronald Reagan interviewing Mike Dukakis. Okay. Let's take that in for a moment. Um, that he made all of my friends sit and listen to. <laughs> all of your friends, your yes, friends. Yes, it was my dance, it was my party. We were all in like, si I think sixth or seventh grade and he was in eighth or ninth. And it was like, it was like a screech, you know, like the record just, and it was all of a sudden, well, let me tell you, Mr. Dukakis. And I was like, oh my fucking and, God, Seth. And, and let me tell, and, and all your friends were like, he is so, Cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were like, wow, he's going to be a multi, multi millionaire one day, and everybody in Hollywood's going to want to fuck up, right? <laughs> oh. I have a question. Yes, Scotty. Little, little boy in the red. Little red boy. I have a question, Scott. What are you, who are you, what part of your wife are you touching? <laughs> That's none of your goddamn business, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is her forehead. It's gotten very skinny over this. This is the church, and this is the steeple. <laughs> Open the doors. <laughs> Look at all the people. Oh. Open the doors, and we're signing out. <laughs> the door is closed. This is <laughs> I, do, I do have a question, and this is serious. Um, <clears throat> the Bradley Baker. What? Yes, Scott. You know, you know, <laughs> I, 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 you know, when Matt Weitzman, when we're in the booth and he says, you know, make him a little younger or make him a little older or make him a little dumber if I'm playing like, you know, guy number two, yeah. that, that, that's, that's a level of just acting that I can do. Yes. Uh, the, the level that you do uh, is something, where did it come from? Where did it start? It's a, it's a multi- leveled question and how do you do that like how do you do where there are voices that you can do d that i listen to and i don't recognize my friend d in it so where did that start and where do you go to in your voice if you can answer that it's a terrible it, question okay. it it's a great starts question. it okay. starts with a deep insecurity <laughs> that is then conflated with massive vanity. <laughs> <laughs> Overcompensation, would you? Uh, it's, it? <laughs> yeah. And then, and then from that is born an idea. Okay. <laughs> then? I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm only partially joking. I, I think that yeah. really a lot of what I do is I just want people to like me and the way that I try to get attention is to do weird shit. And yeah. that, that's, that's what I've, I think that's what I arrived at that kind of works in my life. But do you, and, think, do you think you've tapped into a broader vocal range than most people can? I think I just have a, a, a plasticity of personality that, um, uh, it's just not very defined. I don't know who I am. 
right. really. I, I think I'm I think I'm just a bunch of things slapped together that really aren't very well connected and that that I can just pull it apart and and bring, and put it on a little stage uh, in succession. And I'm okay with that. I think I think most people have a kind of of a, a of a unity of personality mm. and that gives them comfort. And for me, I think it's the opposite. I like to pull my personality apart. And that's that's what I'm paid to do. It's right. a very weird thing, but but it feels like I'm I'm I just I I, I I taking advantage of the plasticity of consciousness. Yeah, I, I think you're, I mean I get that deep, but I, I think that you're minimizing the idea that everybody has that kind of like little parts in them that are yeah different, and you're yeah. just accessing them more directly. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a better. Pro that's probably that's that's much more succinct. I'm I'm a very long-winded person, but that, I think that's a much more succinct way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, not, I don't think there's a person in the world that doesn't have like put on masks for depending on the situation that they're in yeah. and you're able to access that more, uh, you know, quickly and, uh, and, and you're, and you have a natural sense of humor that allows it to kind of work. Yeah. But what I, what I love about this cast, Matt, is Rachel, Wendy, um, especially D. am not even talking about myself. I have friends that will, that will call me up all the time and say, hey man, I'm gonna send you this uh, voiceover reel that I put together and all they're doing, and I'm not ragging on them, God bless them, they're yes, imitating they something that somebody else has done, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're imitating a guy that did a, a, a thing for a movie or you know, welcome to the, you know, something, some movie thing. And what, what this cast does that I'm so appreciative of, when, you know, when I look at Wendy, when I look at Rachel, is coming up with these, smaller characters that i don't know how i can describe it like you know rachel wendy d you also can do this thing all of you that is like now do an 11 year old girl now do a, a dumb surfer now do wendy a, a stripper at a bar like these specific oh, that, that, that's just that are specific like, yeah, the smartest person in the room, do that. And they, they, these tiny things that people think are easier to do, but I believe they're difficult to do. And I hear you guys do it all the time at table reads. And it just makes me, I just look at you guys and I just, I go, wow. Because Dee can also do the spleen of a rhinoceros, by well, the way. Well, yeah, I mean, no, I have to say, like, sitting, sitting and, and listening to Seth and Dee, to me, those two people, it's a masterclass. Yes. Every time you get to sit and listen to Seth and D do what they do, because I've never heard two people that do it better. It is, it is, you are masters of the craft without a doubt. Um, and even though he's not here right now, I do have to give Seth credit for that because he, to what, listen to him do what he does Fuck him. Is, is bananas. <laughs> I remember 10 years into American Dad, I was on the phone with my, my best friend who I've, you know, known since college, 10 years into American Dad. And I made some comment about Seth doing Roger. And she was like, what, what are you talking about? And I was like, Seth is Roger. And she was like, what? What? Seth is Roger? And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? You didn't know that? It's been 10 years. And D, is, it's the same thing. It's like, there are times when I'll, I'll hear something and I'll be like, is that, is that D? And I'll like, I am DB. I'm like, holy shit, that's D, yeah. It's remarkable yeah. what, what they can do, truly. Guys, there's a really good chance that we're just having a conversation. <laughs> yeah, no, I already it's thought that. Off I, I already of thought of that. I was like, no yeah, we're just we're just talking to each other. It no all checked a, out. No right. one gives a good shit about it. Wait, either. no, no, no. So, Simon, smile. Simon, the Disney fan, does want to know how yep. long it takes to make an episode of American Dad. It takes. Nah. I mean, okay. no, 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 no. I'd like to know what you guys think it takes, and then I'll say, and I'll give the answer. I think it takes a year. I think it takes I'd 12 months. Year. I'd say eight months. I was told nine months like a baby. From, from when you start writing it to when it airs? Yeah. No, 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 not when it airs. When it's ready for air. No, 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 from when you're done making it. When you're done making it. I'd say 12 months. I'll say 14 months. Eight months. Three days. <laughs> What is this, South Park? Yeah. No, no, no. It actually, you know, you're right. It, it takes anywhere from like 
12 to 13 months. Wow. Yeah. And we're always overlapping. So like in one episode, we are working on breaking a new story yeah. while at the same time working on the final audio of a different episode. So, and everything in between. So there's a lot of steps and we're working on everything. I mean, in one day you could be working on the very beginning of one episode and the very end of a different episode. And uh, oh, it's minutes. kind of awesome and fascinating and yeah. fun. Do you, I, have, do you have fewer shows in the pipeline now that everything is kind of separated due to the virus? Mm, or are you keeping as many think, shows alive? You would think that we would be doing less, but no, we are still trying to maintain the same schedule as we did before. The, oh. We're able to do almost all the elements that we still haven't honestly mastered what you guys do, which is recording actors. Uh, that's been the biggest uh, hurdle that we've come across. Um, you know, just people don't have enough uh, of the correct facilities in their homes. You know, there's a yeah. lot of ac actors out there, but they don't have, you know, a, a, the, the right microphone and the right system just set up. And even though, you know, a lot of you guys are, I mean, Wendy, we're still like trying to make, find the right system for you. Whereas D, you, we found it early and you, you already had a system in your house set up. So, and also you, Rachel. Teacher's so pet. Able to, what's that? Kidding. Teacher's what? pet. It was a stupid okay. joke. I don't know if anybody Anyways, I mean, it, we're, we're, we're still trying to uh, create the shows at the same pace that we were. It's a little bit harder. Um, but uh, the, 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 um, this, the, the long answer, the short answer is uh, 12 to 14 months, but everything is being done overlapping. Um, and, uh, are, dude, are you ready for this next question, Wendy? Because this one's going to, this is going to separate the men from the boys here. Oh, no. Rachel. Um, at the Misadventures of Angelito wants to know, who is Francine's favorite child? <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, between Steve and Haley? I think we're your two kids. Children. Yeah. Oh, between Steve and Haley, right? Well, yeah, right. who else do you right. have another child? Well, no, but I mean, you know, I. I <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's been. I think it's been written in that Steve is her real baby. You motherfucker! <laughs> I know mothers with their daughters, but I think oh, you know, God, I knew the answer. I knew it. I know. I think sorry. That she wants to keep her, 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 her baby forever. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. There. I know we're running low on time. This is D. This is an incredible question that just came in from you for you. Oh yeah. Simon, Simon Michael wants to know how many teenagers did Klaus kill? <laughs> wow. How many? Wow. Killed at least three. Yeah, oh, at least you, three. <laughs> There's a few left under the porch. Yeah, right? Was, it was that was your song, wasn't it? It was like I killed two. No, three. I killed three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> D. Bradley Baker, John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> oh, oh, nice, Wendy. <laughs> I'm a ba 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 ba, a serial killer. Oh my God, that's hilarious! Uh, hey, what was that song? That was you and I did that together, D. It was like I started it, and then you had to fill in, right? You know yeah. what I'm talking about, yeah, you guys? Yeah. Was, yes, yes. Oh, it was. It was. I did a good, no great, no good job, right? Wasn't it that one? Yes. And then yeah. she runs upstairs, and Dee's like, "Holy shit! I have the mic. What do I do with it?" Oh, oh, oh I had the mic. I, I, I don't. I know. I killed three teenagers. Yeah. Right. Right. I killed two teenagers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. So, guys, I was, night, I was, um, just asked. Uh, I was drinking bourbon. Uh, yeah, there was a yeah. No, no, no it's a. What do you got? A about? lot of people. Somebody just asked, how do you guys record? I just wanted to do the voice for a second because I I remember we were told maybe we should do this at the end. How do you guys record the voices from home? Um, this is a new thing for all of us, right? I'll let everybody talk because of this, what's going on. Uh, Matt Weitzman has been in touch with us and all the people of American Dad to record from home. But what we're trying to do is get the quality that this beautiful studio that we get to uh, perform in 
at, at, at American Dad. Uh, and that's going to be tough. So Matt, you want to speak on that? How are we going to record from home? <laughs> Scotty, have you done it yet? I did. I did an attempt. We've recorded, we recorded you and we've recorded D so far. Yeah, uh, I did two episodes from my, my closet, which yes. was kind of that's incredible. Super professional. It um, was and, um, amazing. You know, in, so far, and we haven't really even recorded any outside actors other than you two at this point so yeah. like i said it's been the it's been the challenge um not to say that we can't do it and we're not going to do it because there are actors out there who have the right things but um no this has been a, yeah. been a challenge but i have the right really, things now I it's really it. interesting it turns out um, that, that, that um coronavirus is, is a problem this, this is this, this show kia is mural kia mural kia mural yeah. Um, we all have, I mean, honestly, it's, we, what do you have, Dee? I mean, like we have a microphone and a laptop and a program that lets us listen to Matt talk to us while we're recording and a, a quiet room with a lot of sound dampening, which honestly for me is my closet because the clothes do the trick. And yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of different ways to do it. Um, on, on my page, uh, it's called, uh, your home studio on my page. Uh, website, I want to be a voice actor.com. Um, there's a lot of different uh, ways that you can go about it. And I list uh, some of the stuff that I use and, but other people do it a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're interested, there's a lot of, of very helpful free research that you can do and including my page and other places too. The all funny right. thing though, is obviously doing all this from home now is like, um, I have loud dogs, right? And I'm sorry, but they don't know when I'm recording. So shutting them up is interesting and tricky. And right. uh, do you remember that video of the guy doing the interview on CNN when his kid walks in? Yeah. Remember that? Like that's going to happen. Just P.S. to everybody here right now. That's <laughs> in a table read. It's, it's guaranteed. It might even happen on Wednesday this week. Yeah. Be prepared. Actually, I mean, that, that's just actually a thing that we're going to have our first table read inside where all the actors, because right now in the past, we've just been kind of distributing the new scripts and this kind of this new week, we're going to, this coming Wednesday, we're going to have our first group table read with the, all the artists and all the actors and all the writers. And, uh, you know, we had a run through today, but you know, we'll see how it goes. It's a- uh, you know, It's a weird thing, Matt. And, and it's, it's, it's great that we get this opportunity, even though we're talking to the public, but we're also talking to each other. I, I adore, and I always adored going to that booth and, and, and being directed by you. I have this cool um, thing where I put the... the then, why, then why is it so hard to get you there, Scott? <laughs> I'm pretending to freeze right now. Hold on. <laughs> See what I'm doing? Um, but yes, it is. Like the end of Police Squad. Well, because our boss... Also has me on another show, motherfucker, so it's hard. <laughs> you're not doing that. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. No, we're not. No, all right, you're um, right. But I will say that going to there, uh, as tedious as it can be sometimes because you have writers that want one idea and you that want another, I do adore, you know, I put I put the script on, on the thing that you put the script on. What's that called? A music um, stand? stand. Nice, Rachel, thank you. I put it there and I put my lines at the exact place that I actually right above can see Matt because if Matt it's so strange and this has been for 15 years or however long we've been doing this if Matt likes it I can see him like it so my next take will even one up that take right uh, wow. why are you just wow. telling us this shit right now no, this is like so the strange. fucking key to the kingdom no no I, I know it's weird, <laughs> but then, obviously then there's writers that want the thing and we've talked about this there's writers and stuff like that but I always keep this thing right, up, right underneath, and he'll tell you, I fold my lines over the top of the, of the music stand right. so that I can always see. Now, look, if the line is at the top of the page, I don't have to do that. But the lower lines, I have to fold over the top because I have to see what's going on in the booth. If they like it, then I'll do that again. I'll do it the next take. So I really, my point is, I really enjoy the, the energy of being there and seeing Jeremy, right? I think Jeremy is that, that kind of front line. And Jeremy Jer is our Honey, engineer. You know what? You're you're missing our life. You're you're missing the way things have been. 
And we all want to get back. We want, I know, we want to get back in the studio. We really do. I do. So what I'm saying is as much as I want to do it, I'm fine to do it at home and all that. And that's going to be- No, you miss it. I I miss the energy that I get from Matt telling me, nope, get back to Steve. Or nope, we need more energy. I I, I, I need that. I, I, I like to be directed. I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the okay. way, um, a couple of people have sort of written in. They they don't know what voice Matt does. Matt is our showrunner. <laughs> he is our executive producer, creator. Show- but he also he plays the- Doctor Weitzman. He does yeah, play yeah. Doctor Weitzman. I this play is Dr. Weitzman. Of- Truly, this is one I of the guys. I played, I played. I don't know if you guys all remember the turtle, the uh, the the tortoise, the hare and the tortoise bit. No. I was that character. But yeah. Well, I don't, I don't remember that at all. Do you guys? The, the Hortus and the Tear, is that what no. you were going to say? Hortus and the Tear? No, it's classic. It's classic. Yes. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, yeah, I, um, I'm just kind of make sure that uh, yeah, but, know, but the did... wheels keep, uh, the, the wheels stay oh, on. We the, forgot. Uh, we forgot we're doing Facebook Live as well. But Matt, will you do me a favor? Yes. You also play a character in our table reads. You play Barry. Can you give us Uh-oh. your table read, Barry? My version of Barry? <laughs> Not good, but it's good enough. So great. Yeah. It's so great. I mean, Barry, yeah. But no, um, Matt, AK Tom's you, fantastic. We gave you showrunner, we gave you executive producer, but let's let's make sure that we give you creator. You created this, created, this whole yeah. fucking thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I have that title. I mean, I'm going to give it far more to, you know, your brother, yeah. Seth, is, you know, the brainchild behind it all in the beginning. Fuck him. <laughs> There's that. That's true. That's true. What, what is he doing tonight that he couldn't fucking be here? Jesus. Oh, Christ. my God. The funny you know thing what? is, Rachel, they yes. probably didn't ask him. I, you know what? I know you're right. I should have actually probably just texted him and fault. said, hey, it's do you want to do this shit? Fault. I know. Right. It's not his fault. You're right. I'm sure they, it wasn't they even ask. asked. Right. Yeah. A pro- uh, yeah, we should have gotten a proper no thank you. <laughs> uh, no, dude, you. he's he's jumping on family zooms like he's never done before. So I mean, you can get him for shit right now. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, all right. He's well. he's doing Bill Maher from his living room. Yeah. No, I saw that. Yeah, it was good. He looked like a fourteen-year-old boy in it. I felt, you know, with his cap and he yeah. said, he looked oh. kind of you know young and uh, young and spry and <laughs> oh, new hope. Yeah, because he's he's got a library full of books and no children to bother him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, um, I, it's eight oh three. I know. Um, what's what's um, is this is this the point where we say thanks everybody for? Yeah, for- let's yeah. do that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is what you guys expected, but um, I loved it. I loved uh, it. Facebook. It, it, I, know. It was a, I, I enjoyed. It. I love hanging out with you guys. I love seeing your guys' faces. I miss you. And yep. uh, I'm glad you guys miss uh, recording. Miss you guys too. You know, it's the 15th anniversary, I guess. I don't know if it's the 15th season. I was told today, is it the 15th season, Matt? Uh, it's always a weird thing. Because know. The, know. How, how we air and how we produce it are two different things. But um, anyway, fine, we're calling it the 15th. what I'm saying is, and I know I've talked a lot because I've had some wine, as you guys have probably seen. <laughs> but I was sitting there on the set of a TV show in 2003 or whatever, and I, and, and I at lunch, I was supposed to go at lunch to go and audition for this, this TV show called American Dad. And there was this extra named Mark Backer, who I adore, and he's a good friend of mine. And he's, I said, dude, I'm tired. Do I want to go? I was so insecure because I didn't know how to do voices or anything. And uh, he said, dude, Seth MacFarlane's a friend of yours because Seth and I were friends. And you just go, go do some stupid thing. And if you don't get it, don't, you don't get it. But you know, I, I, as an extra, he said, would give my left fucking nut to, 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 to have this audition. And I went, you know what? You're right. And I went and I auditioned and that turned into another audition. Uh, I sent this guy a fruit basket years later because it is the greatest decision I ever made in my life. And I thank you all. Wow. I, wow. That's so generous of you. I get Shut up. It was probably more than a fruit basket. Shit. I sent him a car. It was a car. Damn it. It was a car. <laughs> but I thank you all because I get to be with you guys every week most of the time. And, and it's such a pleasure. And, and what, a, what a gift this last 15 years has been. Seriously. That's the truth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I I'm, I'm, can't be more grateful to have you guys to work with every, every week 
and you guys are fantastic and so funny and you add jokes to lines that weren't supposed to be funny and uh so and make the funny lines even funnier so uh, i'm full of gratitude and gratitude and, and grateful for all you guys for still watching the show and seriously you guys are still entertained, entertained yes. and, thank you to all the fans and all the people who have hung in with us i mean we wouldn't be here without you and and thanks for writing in i mean things were flowing by so it was kind of you know hard to get all of it but you know we did see how many of you participated tonight and thank you so much and please stay safe and stay healthy and we'd like yeah. to thank the academy <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, seriously, everybody, hang in there. We truly are all in this together, and we sure will are. get through it. But and we're stay still away making from us. shows for, for you, so just stay that's away what's from keeping me. us going. Stay away from me. Just stay Six away feet. from me. Oh, and Matt, I wanted to tell you something really freaking important, and here's the deal. Um, this is something. Oh. Ugh. Was, he did it again. That was amazing. That was in, that was intentional, God. wasn't it? He had me yeah. right there. Me and too. Then... <laughs> all right, right well, chatters. Hey guys, um, I don't miss Good night it. all. Um, and uh, love you all love till you all. Wednesday. Yeah, we'll see you uh, at the table read. Yeah, all and right. uh, you know we'll be back next week, next Monday with uh, brand new episodes. All right. Everybody's thanking us so much for doing this, and oh, and we so appreciate you know, everybody watching. Good night, everybody. Good night, Bye. guys. Good night, guys. Well. Night. 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 Thank you. Night. All right. <laughs>